Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps to search for and add the Insight 2800 to the PLC. This video requires that you have completed the following, installed the Cognex AOP, configured your Ethernet IP driver in RS links, set up your PLC hardware in Studio 5000 Logics Designer, and prepared the Insight 2800 for PLC connection. If you need assistance with any of these steps, please refer to their videos. Within the controller organizer list, right-click on Ethernet. Select New Module from the option list. The Select Module window displays. Filter through the Cognex devices and select the appropriate module type. Uncheck the Module Type Vendors Filters checkbox and check the Cognex Corporation checkbox and locate your Insight 2800 in the Module Type list. The module name for the Insight sensor is IS28XX-XX. If you have added the Cognex AOP, there will be a list of multiple Insight and Dataman devices to select from. If you have not added this, you may only see your Insight 2800. After selecting the appropriate options, click the Create button on the bottom right of the Module Type pop-up screen. A new window named New Module will appear where you can enter the name and IP address of your Insight device. To find the IP address, click the Home button and it is found in the Device Information section. Make note of this IP address since you will be using it in future steps. Check the module definition and click the Change button to view the connections. You can change the input results from the sensor and output data to the sensor based on how much information you want to send and receive from the camera. Set your RPI at a reasonable speed. As a best practice, the RPI should be more than half of your inspection time. If you set it for less than this, you are needlessly requesting updates from the camera, which is taking processing speed away from the inspection. Click the OK button once all selections have been made. The Insight 2800 has been added to the controller organizer under the Ethernet heading. Open the Offline settings and select Go Online from the flyout list. The Connected to Go Online dialog displays. Click the Download button. The Warnings dialog displays. Click the Download button again. The Done Downloading dialog displays. Click the Yes button to change the controller mode back to Remote Run. Review the Remote Run settings. There should not be an I.O. fault message when you go online. It is important that the PLC and camera are communicating correctly. Go offline. Your PLC is now ready to have logic added. For more information, check out the other videos in the Connecting to the Rockwell PLC series. Thank you for watching.